Good morning, Silvano here with Pensando System. Today I'm here to speak about the Capri ASIC. The Capri ASIC is the first ASIC designed by Pensando System and is currently shipping in its line of distributed service cards. Capri is a beautiful Italian island in front of Naples. This short video will present the block diagram of the Capri ASIC and its main components. Let's start discussing the primary interfaces. The Capri ASIC has two Ethernet ports. These Ethernet ports are 100 gigabit per second and can be subdivided into 50 gigabit, 40 gigabit, 25 gigabit and 10 gigabit. There are two of those because we want to be able to pass packet from one Ethernet port to the other in addition to moving packet from one Ethernet port to a PCI interface. Another possibility is to use the two Ethernet port to connect to two top of rack switches. The other main interface is the PCI interface into the host operating system. It is a BI16 PCI interface Gen3 and Gen4 capable. In addition to this primary interface there are other for management and initialization. Going back to the Ethernet port, they are connected to a packet buffer that also contains the traffic manager. The concept of a packet buffer is well known in any network device and is the place where packets are stored while waiting to be processed and their processing is also scheduled and prioritized. The primary data plane processing feature of the Capri ASIC is the P4 packet processing data plane. The P4 data plane is composed of a pipeline of processors that are fully programmable using the P4 standard. This architecture guarantees that the ASIC is capable of processing 100 gigabit per second of data plane traffic, while at the same time implementing a lot of functions like stateful firewall, micro-segmentation, load balancing, encryption, NVMe, etc. The P4 packet processor is connected to a coherent interconnect. This interconnect is a sort of on-chip crossbar that connects all the different ASIC components. It is a coherent memory interface that dramatically simplifies the software architecture while at the same time providing a very high throughput, terabit per second. We also have several ARM core that can run an operating system like Linux they are in charge of booting the device, programming the P4 data plane, and running the control and management plane. For example, the GRPC REST APIs used to program the chip run on this ARM core, and so does a protocol like BGP if required. Other vital components are the service processing of load module. These modules are hardware modules dedicated to specific functions. Two functions that come to mind are encryption and compression. The encryption of load supports both symmetric encryption, for example AES, and asymmetric encryption, like RSA or elliptic curves. Compression and signature for data deduplication are also hardwired in this service processing of load module. Finally, the Capri ASIC has a lot of memory, connected to the coherent interconnect. This huge RAM is on chip and contains the code for the ARM core, the code for the P4 pipeline, all the chip table, for example, routing table, ICL table, RDME QPR table, and they also contain an extended packet buffer. Currently, this memory is an HBM memory, HBM stands for high bandwidth memory, capable of supporting more than a terabit per second of bandwidth. It comes in 4 and 8 GB and is interconnected to the coherent interconnect. I hope this short presentation is giving you an idea of what the Capri ASIC is and which are its main components. Don't forget to follow me on my blog on GitHub pages. It is silvanoguy, single word, dot github dot io. I hope this was interesting for you. Thank you so much for listening.